Hello, student. Uh, let's take up one more problem with respect to the isometric projection, uh, which is a 36 uh, reference from the video framework. Uh, where we have a cone which is placed above the pentagonal prism. The previous problem, that is uh, number 13, problem number 13, we have done a problem where a cone is placed over a custom of a pentagonal pyramid. So here we will learn how we can do a pentagonal prism. This is a very simple complicated question. And as usual, we know like for a polygons like a pentagon, hexagon, or a triangle, we need to have a 2D sketch. Okay, so let's start with the 2D sketch. We will take a line with a point 5 as a continuous. And once you click, as we know, like for a polygon, it's a 360 divided by number of sides. So 360 divided by 5 is 72. So the size of the side is the given it's a 45. Enter. The first is a 0. Then 45, enter, it's a 72. Then 45, enter, it's a 72. Uh, 2. And uh, 45, enter, 72. Uh, 3. Then back to the enter, you can enter. 45, enter. 72 star 4. Okay, so once we do the 3D sketch as usual, we need to inscribe this one in a rectangle. So our thin lines with a point 1, 3, and just drop any one side, one horizontal line. Okay. And, uh, one vertical line, and we can go to the trim and trim up this one. And we have one more option called extend to next where we can extend this one line till here and we can trim it out. Okay. And these are the few easy ways. There are n number of easy ways by which you can complete the problem in the easiest way. Okay. So once you draw one portion, you can just drop one center line from where it is a, a symmetry and you can select the lines. These lines we don't want. You can just go to the mirror option. And these things will save the time, the egg time, just to complete the things in a, uh, a faster way. Okay, so delete that uh, bisector, we go to the uh, smart dimension, and first is the egg length. Okay, we'll add this one, let's uh, zoom that in properly, and the length is 13.91, and just in the first, the mid of this one. 16.28, but uh, we don't want the full length, we want uh, the length between this length because uh, we have mirrored it, so it is taking the full length. We will go to one more option distance between, select the end and end of this one, so 42.8 and one more length is 26.45. Okay, and the last one is. You can take the mid as uh, we have discussed in the problem number 13, or else you can just measure in between. The things will be easy for us to identify. And uh, just to remember the things at the process, we'll name A, F, B, F, C, F, B, E, and F, and G, and X, and I. Okay, so these things will be make our job a little bit easier to remember the thing. So we'll go the line and point one three and as usual like for a isometric we'll have a, a point one three line first is the one horizontal line and we'll click on the point on a line. So we'll start from the A like the anti clockwise. Okay. So from A to B it is forty two point eight enter it's thirty degree first isometric and the this area. The next from B to C it is 26.45 enter 30 degree enter. Next we will take a turn from B towards D it's 36.41 enter it's 150 degree and again 36.41 enter 150 degree. Then we are taking a turn from E to F so it is 26. 0.45 enter with minus 150 enter then it is 42.8 enter minus 150 enter so we are at a point G now we will take a turn now 
0 13.91 enter is minus 30 enter then 45 enter minus 30 enter then again 13.91 enter minus 30 enter we will get the pentagon so as uh, usual I first select the one end and make it point 0.5 Okay, then take a line with a point five and from the end of the edge let's move on this end point then move on this end point move on this end point and okay so here uh, for the bottom one this uh, no need of marking the uh, center line because we are going to take a reference from the top face because it's a prism take a line with the point by any one corner okay. the height of that one is 35 we will write 35 whenever we say it's a height it's a 90 degree okay. and that one is done select the line there is a move command copy on from the bottom edge we take the five corner Select the exit uh, center one. Go to the move command. Take it from the corner. Don't randomly select it. Take it from the reference and the bottom. And here. Exactly. Do this. Uh, you should observe the things and where it is required. So in this software, it is easy to do the things at a faster rate also, and it is easy to commit the mistakes also. You can uh, observe the things properly. Okay. So this is how exactly the prism looks like. And you know, these lines will not be visible. You can make it thin uh, in order to have a clarity. You can just uh, build up also and get the point. Okay. So now, in order to locate the center of a top face, we we'll take a line with a and one three, with a thin line. We we'll drop a bisector, that is two bisectors, from the corner to the mid of the Auto decline and then we'll go to the trim option. Okay, and one is done. So you can go to the angle between okay. So as usual, like if you don't know how to drop the cone, you can just convert this one to the scale, you'll get a 12.5 mark with so half of the marks in the video scheme. And uh, in order to do the cone, as we know, like in order to have the circular base, we need to have the first square equal to the base diameter. The base diameter is 45. So we can just start with the line. Okay, so 45, enter 30, enter 45, enter 150, enter 45, enter minus 150, enter 45, enter. Okay. Okay. So we will do this one properly and we will go with the one method which is at the tangent arc midpoint of each line midpoint okay. midpoint midpoint to the midpoint midpoint so select each one to the mid point and to the end of this one. Okay. So once this one is done, to look at the center of a cone, you just drop one horizontal uh, line and the axis line, just a 5 3 line, come to the mid of the horizontal line. 
then the height of this one is 65. So 65 obviously height is of 90 degree and zoom the base properly and change the line to the, sorry type of the line to the continuous and move to the curve don't mark it to the end point that's a wrong move on the curve wherever you get a tangent from it, click here and go to the uh, mirror command and just mirror it with respect to the center line okay. so even our second uh, solid is also done you can select the solid with the new command copy off from this this copy off from the center bottom center into the center of the center okay. and zoom the top solid properly if you want to retain retain if not you can just delete all these lines Go to the print this one and select the remaining part and make it point five. Okay, so that should be the problem. So we can select the old problem now. Go to the scale option. Copy off and it's point eight one six four. That's a good scale factor. Okay. 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 Well, simple. Where we can easily draw the two D with respect to that one, and we can follow it. Okay. That's how exactly we can learn how to do the hexagon as well as the pentagon problem, the prism as well as the question.